Okay, so now we're, uh, we're going to do that second example here for reversing the order of integration. How do we do this one? Once again, we better start by drawing our region, right? So before we do anything, just sketch out the region, see what we're looking at. Okay, so here's my coordinate axes. And let's see, so x again goes from 0 to 1, just like in the previous example. What about y? The upper limit on y is, is 1. And the other curve that we have here is y equals x squared. So let me put in the point 1, 1 over here, right? So we're inside this 1 by 1 square. Put in that parabola. And so again, we have to decide, are we above the parabola? Are we below? Well, the fact that y has to be between x squared and 1, not between 0 and x squared, right? We're saying, OK, so if we fix an x value, y starts on the parabola, starts at x squared, goes until it hits 1. That tells me that my region is this one here. So this is my region D, OK? And again, if we want to reverse the order, we have to think about, well, what if we go horizontally? So what if we fix a y value and we head across through the region? Where do we enter the region? Well, we enter the region at the y-axis, at x equals 0, right? And we keep going until we hit that curve. So what is that curve? Well, it's y equals x squared. But again, I need x in terms of y. So x in terms of y, this is now what? It's, it's it's the square root of y, right? Yes, there's a positive and a negative square root, but we're in the first quadrant. x is positive, so we take the positive root. So x is between 0 and root y. OK, very good. And for which y values are we doing that? Well, every y value from 0 up to 1. OK. So reversing the order of integration gives me the integral from 0 to 1. And then the integral from 0 to root y of x cubed sine y cubed. And we're going to do the x integral first, right? dx, then dy. OK. Well, the good news here is we don't have to worry about this sine function yet because we're just dealing with the x. Antiderivative of x cubed, 1 quarter x to the 4. So we have 1 quarter x to the 4. Our limits are 0 and root y. And then we have that sine y cubed. And we need to integrate with respect to y. OK. I think my, my red might be running out on me. So let's plug in the limits. Um, Upper limit, we have the square root of y to the fourth power. So we square it once, we get y. We square it again, we get y squared. So this gives me 0 to 1, 1 quarter y squared. Lower limit is just 0, sine y cubed dy. All right? And now you can see that you're set up for a u substitution because the derivative of y squared, y cubed, is 3y squared. The y squared is sitting right there. So um, if u is equal to y cubed, du is going to be 3y squared dy. So we've got to divide by 3. Uh, we get 1 over 12 sine u d u, right? The 4 goes to a 12 because i got to divide by that 3. Uh, let's adjust our limits. Actually, in this case, the limits don't change, but that's just because we get lucky because 0 cubed is still 0 and 1 cubed is still 1. All right. So we get minus 1 over 12. Um, cos u from 0 to 1. Okay, So this is going to be, once you work it out, 1 over 12 times 1 minus cos of 1. Okay, And then you're done.